Hi everyone, Luciano from Korg here with this week's episode of Patch of the Week on the SV2. And we're going to be covering a really cool song today, and it is actually going to be Maniac by Michael Sambello. And just like in last week's episode, we're going to be creating layers in the SV2 editor. So if you don't have the SV2 editor, it is a free program, which is available for Mac or Windows. And if you don't have it, you can download it really easily from our website. So grab your SV2, a USB cable, your computer, and let's dive in. So let's begin in the editor by jumping into the main category. Now we have three layers that are within the editor, the main, layer one, and layer two, which can also be used as a split. So we're gonna start here and I'm gonna click the main layer and we're gonna pull up a sound that is called Vintage Monster by going to the synth category. After that, we'll go to the lead category and we're gonna select Vintage Monster. Now, in order to make this sound really cool and authentic, we're going to go ahead and adjust and turn on the equalizer for this sound. And we're going to set the mid-range EQ to minus 7.5. And we're going to go ahead and set the treble to minus 18. So we really want to take the high end out of the sound uh, to make it as close to the recordings. So let's give a listen to what that sounds like. So it's cool, it's getting closer. Uh, we have a sound that kind of works, but we need to go ahead and add some other layers in. Now, like I mentioned before, there is some sort of an electric piano uh, FM synth kind of vibe. So I'm gonna go over here to layer number one and I'm gonna click where it says electric piano. And from there, we're gonna go to FM and we're gonna select FM piano number four. We'll click OK. Now, I'm gonna just drop the volume slightly on that. We'll turn on the layer and drop it to around 123, and that should be good. Now, for the bass split, we're gonna use a synth bass sound, and to get there, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the synth category, then bass, and from bass, we're gonna select Robert bass. So now that we've selected the Robert bass, we wanna make sure that we turn the mode from layer to split mode, so we activate the keyboard split. Once that's on, a couple of things we need to do to the bass sound to make it sound right. The first thing, we're gonna drop the volume level to around 75 to make sure it doesn't overpower the other sounds. The second thing we'll do is we'll drop it by one octave, so we'll put minus one. So in order to achieve that really deep bass sound, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the equalizer. And once we turn on the equalizer, we will set the bass frequency to 12.5, so really bumping up the low end. And we're gonna totally cut out the mids uh, and the treble frequencies from the bass sound and put minus 18. Let's give a listen to what that sounds like together. All right, so we're on the home stretch and we wanna finish up the editing all on the main panel now. So we're gonna start on the left side with the EQ and we wanna put a slight bump of plus three in the treble to really make the high end pop. Now moving on, we're gonna look at the modulation section and we are gonna go ahead and turn on the black chorus effect with a speed of three and an intensity of five. And finally, on the right side with the ambience, we wanna go ahead and turn on our stereo delay and we're gonna set the depth at four. So once you've done all that, you're ready to hear the finished product. So here we go with the final sound for Maniac. 